Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today is August 13th, 2022. Welcome to the Giant Robot News, otherwise known as Gurn. Okay, let me know if you like that name, because I think Gurn sounds pretty nifty, but I'm old and out of touch. I don't know what the kids like these days. Anyway, I've been away for a while, Giant Robot News-wise, so it's time to get back into it. First up, our official Canon slash Transformers Optimus Prime images. That's right, Optimus Prime now turns into a camera. This, all images come from Amazon Japan, and the figure is a Canon EOS R5 camera. It is going to be available for pre-order for 17,179 JPY, and has a release, release date of February 25th, 2023. I actually like the look of it. I think it looks pretty good. It's ridiculous that Prime is now a camera. He used to be a shoe, and a hat, and a PlayStation. This is neat, and I love the fact that his head is a little camera as well, and the lens has a, has the Autobot Matrix of Leadership in it, and he comes with his own little camera, because, you know, transforming into a camera isn't enough. He's got to be a camera that takes pictures using a camera. This is so stupid. Oh my god. And it splits apart. The lens splits apart, and the body... It's like the lens of the body disconnect. How is this thing going to transform? Are, is the body here on the left of the camera just the figure? And then the right is just extra stuff? Like, what is going on here? Because it, it, to me, it looks like the arms are going to be f transforming the side over here. And then the chest is going to be here. And then this whole lens section is just the backpack. This is so weird. Like, I'm serious. This is just so weird. I really want to get a hold of it simply because I need to know how it transforms. Now, Canon would be remiss if they didn't offer a repaint that is Refractor. A.K.A. Reflector. This reveal comes from Takara Tommy's Twitter. Twitter. It's the same EOS R5 Canon figure. It's a redo of Prime. It comes with a G1 styled refractor that splits into three components and a matrix substitute, the Quantum Dial. Both figures will be coming out February of 2023. Refractor's actually more expensive at 19,800 JPY or yen. I I'm tempted to get both, I really am. I really am. Now the refractor has a refractor and then the quantum dial, which to my eye looks like a weird Cybertron version of the Stargate from Stargate SG-1 and a rotary dial, dial telephone. Yeah, yeah, I, I realize I'm weird. Both of these are stupid. I need to own both of them. God, they're so dumb. I, I have to own both of them. I do. Next up, Dr. Wu Silver Dancer, aka Slam Dance, is, well, we get, finally got images of it in color, and then it also has repaints, military green and black editions. Slam Dance, I'm sorry, not Slam Dance, Sword Dancer is made out of two figures, the Traveler Plane and the Patriot Tank. I think this looks great. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Just needs a tiny little Autobot symbol right there on the chest. Otherwise, it's really good. I love the plane mode. I love the tank mode. I think both of them are really cool looking. And they transform into tapes. You don't need to take off any accessories, it doesn't look like. I wonder if they're going to fit inside Blaster. In Kingdom Blaster, specifically. I'm going to pick this up. I need to find it. And I need to find the other one. I need to find the Decepticon version of Beast Box. Here's the green one. Hey, the green military colors work. That works really well. And then here's the black one. Yeah, the black one in black and silver. Classic color combination. It works. Next up, we've got a leaked Studio Series ROTF The Fallen Leader Class image. This is from a leaked listing. And one a user named Bitik on Korean fan site DC Inside has got an image of it. 
I don't know what to make of this. It obviously looks like that's the fallen's head there on the left. And then he transforms, or it transforms, into what appears to be a pair of handcuffs. And it has what appears to be fold-out wings of some sort, or thrusters, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what to make of this. Other than the fact that, well, his head without the mask kind of looks like a grunt from Shocker from the original Kamen Rider. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to make of this. It's ugly as hell, though. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I, hopefully this isn't the actual alt mode, because that looks awful. Next up, we've got some official images of Dead End and Blanker from Takara. The first up is Dead End, and I hate Dead End's feet. I absolutely hate Dead End's feet. They just, they don't work. I don't like them. The arms are chunky, fine. The chest looks perfect, the head looks perfect, but those legs, ugh, they're, they're just bad. They're just bad. I can't argue with the Porsche mode, though. That that Porsche mode looks absolutely perfect. And it combines with Menasar, because, duh. And then Blanker. I like the robot mode of Blanker. I like his little Target Master buddy. I think this is going to be a fun figure. I'm really hoping if we get Blanker, or Point Blank, then we get, what is it, Crosscut is the other one. And for the life of me, I can't remember the third who are the three target masters on the Autobots? All right, the three of them are Sure Shot, the yellow dune buggy guy. Point Blank is this one. Ah, that's what's been bugging me about Point Blank. He's missing the little fin on his vehicle mode, or the spoiler. And then we've got Hot Rod, Blur, Cup, and Crosshairs. That's who I was thinking of. I couldn't remember who Crosshairs was. But for Blanker, they do have the spoiler. It's just not the same. It's been split in half and lowered to the back of the vehicle mode, which wouldn't help any for downforce, but that's just me being very nitpicky. I think the vehicle mode looks good. I think the figure looks good. I'm looking forward to it. God, dead end. Get those feet out of here. Next up, we've got New Age H48C Christine and H48S Sif. These are both based off of the H48. Oh, let me see if I can pronounce this. Machinen Mensch, aka RC. So we got an Alita 1. I think it looks fine. God, I hate that, ro that vehicle mode. I almost said robot mode. I like the robot mode. Vehicle mode is so ugly. It just looks so bad. I mean, the front, the front to the windscreen is fine. It's everything past the windscreen I just really don't like. Yeah, I think I think she looks good. I think she looks pretty good in robot mode. And then the Solus Prime looks absolutely fantastic, except in vehicle mode. That's a really good use of the mold, Solus Prime. I, I expected them to do Nightbird, not Solus Prime, but it works. And finally today, Sunset announced for Transformers Heavy Metal AR mobile game. This was a game that was supposed to be similar to kind of like a combination of Pokemon Go, but with more battling and more fighting. Unfortunately, it's going the way of do the Dodo, i.e. it's closing before it even really got off the ground. They are ceasing operation ser operating services on August 31st, 2022. And... Yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say. This never actually entered into full full use, I believe. Or maybe this one did, and it was the other mobile game that didn't. But this is like the fourth Transformers game to see a cancellation. There was the, There's this one, the AR game. Then there was another mobile game. Then there was the... MMO that never saw the light of day, and then there was another, not MMO, but it was some kind of game that was in a friends and families testing period. So, yeah, it looks like the, the games are disappearing, the Transformers games are disappearing very quickly. The only ones that are still here are Transformers Earth Wars and Transformers... Um, Transformers, the, 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 the one that's more like a fighting game. Christ, what is the name of that? I cannot remember the name of that one. But Earth Wars, 
is a cash cow. That thing's made almost like two billion dollars. And the other one is is doing really well as well. Hold on, let me Google Transformers Mobile Games. Forged to Fight. That's what it is. That one's doing really well, and Transformers Earth Wars is doing really well. All right, everybody, that's it for today, August 13th, 2022. Thank you so much for watching. To everyone going to TF Nation this weekend, I hope you have had a wonderful time. If you see Thu, Sixo, Gav, or that evil little repugnus, tell them Bolt said hi. As always, I have been Bolt Matrix. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you all next time.